Zach Reynolds in the ring. And who is he joined by? A new competitor to the AWA, but we'll have to research his name because we got him from far afield. There's oh, no time for Tim Hayden because we've got Outback Adam and Combat Wombat. Oh, that's a festive looking boy, isn't he? Ah. Steve the Crocker, of course, coming with the accoutrement of a Santa hat. Who oh, has this Outback combination? You, you would never be able to get something like that. Much like Damper. Wait, I, Damper doesn't rise to the top. These guys rise to the top. Ah! Outback Adam's forgotten his 12 white boomers, but he's brought one of them as Combat Wombat right behind him. Joined here as always by ring announcer David Nash. And Steve the Croc, I believe, has a Santa hat as well. That is one festive reptile. Now we have been informed that Steve the Croc is technically not a weapon. No, of course not. He's an endangered species. Can you you find me any other crocodile that weighs that much? One of a kind. Weighs what much? That much. I see. Yes. All so right, this so match will start off with these two teams. First team to score a pinfall continues on. That team is eliminated and the next one comes in. Oh, hot little start here. Pat the ref. Are we ringing the bell? Big chop from Wombat. Wombat yeah. right back at his former tag team partner. Yeah, the history between these two is it's something of a tale, isn't it? Do Wombats have tails, actually, now that I said that? Dolphins do. Dolphins are notorious for their long tails, in fact. Yeah, but don't tell Zach Reynolds we're calling him Dolphin. He will lose his absolute mind. Oh, hip attack there from Wombat. Coming in for a signature for the front. Oh, oh. diving headbutt. There's the cover. Oh, just a one count. Tag to Outback Adam. Adam and Tim entering the ring. And in stereo, we've got a big punch off here. Goes for the whip. Oh, rolls over. Fails the back body drop. And look at that Santa hat, it must be glued onto his head. That is incredible. Whoa, jeez. The agility of Outback Adam. No, he told me that tonight. That one there, that hip attack, called the Polar Express. Oh, very good. Oh. oh! That nice touch is going to work today. Wheelbarrow Bulldog middle of the ring goes for the cover. Oh, just barely scrapes by with a two count. I want to say that he has a lot of ring presence. Ooh, I like that one. Thank you. Oh, oh he's going to be the clock lock. The clock lock is locked in. Oh, It's clock o'clock. 
Croc. He clocks that croc. Does that, does that work? Strong back elbow from Adam out of the corner. Oh, cops the boot to the jaw for his trouble. Those boots have walked a thousand miles at least. Oh, goes for a wheelbarrow. Oh, but the hold on one too many times. Pays for it with a face buster. Tim goes for the pin. Oh, two and count. he's out. Oh, now they're cutting the ring in half. Unless Adam can roll back to get to attack oh. line. No! An ugly stomp from Zach Reynolds. Zach Reynolds bringing him up for some serious violence in the corner. Wombat was trying to get involved there, but referee Patrick stopping him, keeping this match with a modicum of war. Oh, firing straight back with the boot of his own. Zach has to whip him out. Powerful win. Adam copped all of that. Oh, running knee to the corner. Somebody check that boy's pulse. The crowd, not a not a fan of Zach Reynolds. Trying to, is? Oh. trying to entice some rage out of him, I think. Just a two count. They are wearing that boy down. He's not used to fighting so much here indoors. It's not a specialty. No, he needs the harsh sunlight. Double vertical middle of the ring. Goes for the cover. Scores a two count. Not as close to the last. And another one. Oh, he's, he's getting some energy behind him. His tag partner, Wombat, is enraged by this. And again, cutting that ring in half, much like a Vegemite sandwich, which Outback Adam would love to be chowing down. Oh, he would go a Vegemite sandwich, he would. Oh, Reynolds taking out Wombat. Vertical middle of the ring. How is Reynolds going to take advantage of this situation? Another one! Super position. Hey, oh, if it's and working. Over. Suplex for Tuplex. That is the third or fourth vertical that Adam has taken since entering this ring. I believe his outback training is designed to keep the spine uh, bouncing at all times. Because when you're riding in a kangaroo, you should not let the impact stay with you. Uh oh, the foot is caught. Goes to the nails Reynolds with it. Reynolds is down. Another Enziguri! Stereo from Outback Adam. Can he get up? He is fighting, fighting to get to his tag partner. And he makes the tag, one that's legal. Second hip attack there by Wombat. The buttocks of this beautiful beast just pounding Reynolds into the ground. Ducks the clothesline. Oh, oh comes no. a kick to the sternum for his trouble. Oh, passes through. Getting it up for the glory special. Nope. And the tag partners are taking their spots in the. Oh, locking in another crop lock. No, rolling around. Some sort of death roll. Ooh. Oh, right to the eyes. Referee didn't see. There's just chaos and confusion in the ring right now. Who is going to come up on top of this? Gory special. Locked in. Is he going to a gory bomb? Yes. Oh, it's over. He let it right in his head. One back goes for the cover. Zach looks out. One, two. That's it. Done. The match is not over though. We have another tag team set to come in right now. It's the tag team champions, it's the Retro Bros, Bobby Bishop and Rip Riley. Oh, they are early in this match. If the Retro Bros are going to maintain their titles tonight, they've got one hell of an uphill battle being the second team brought into this gauntlet. But have Combat Wombat and Outback Adam be worn down already? I think so. Outback Adam is struggling to find his feet on the outside of the ring. Oh, going for the gory special on Rip. Didn't quite have the strength. Oh, Wombat is on fire right now. Oh, we've got a bob off here. Bobby and Adam have a, uh, a troubled history. Takes a Ooh. single leg, throws it away. This Unpopular. just shows you how much this title means to Bobby Bishop. 
He is willing to risk life and a single leg limb for this title. Oh my God. Oh, Adam goes to the clock lock. Bobby's reached the rope, so the referee will have to start his five count. Oh, picks him up like a baby. Adam goes down. What can Adam do from here? Oh, Bishop has rubbed the crowd the wrong way in this match. Oh, yes! And he's got, he's got the death roll locked in. Wisely, oh. Bishop takes it to the outside. He needs to recover. Well, but Adam will not let him. No, Adam is too fast. He is used to tracking and tagging many animals out in the wild to keep them safe in, in most cases. I've never seen Bobby Bishop run that fast. He is terrified of, of Adam. Whoa, close I missed. Boot. Adam takes his time, time enough for Bobby to recover. And, oh, big clothesline, knocks him to the ground. You don't need to say this often, but Bobby Bishop flexing some muscle. He's the bigger man in this matchup. Will you stop, Bobby Bishop? Speaking of the bigger men, Rip Riley enters the fray. I'm dobbing on you later. How back Adam, can he get out of this corner? He has been stuck in that corner for a lot of this match. You cannot be envying the tag team champions coming in so early in this gauntlet match. Their path to victory now is through several other teams. They've got the cut out for them tonight. Ooh. Much like uh, Havoc Adam's neck cut off just then. Oh, he's sucking in air. He's going to have to inflate himself like a Zeppelin to get back up from that. I can see where Bobby Bishop's coming from with this one. I, I love Outback Adam. He's an absolute hoot. But if you've been pushed over randomly as many times as Bobby Bishop has by Outback Adam, yeah, yeah I can see why you'd be a little bit grumpy. Yeah, you can see that aggression is coming out. This is a very different Bobby Bishop to the playful and gentle spirit we usually see. Well, ima around. imagine if your title was on the line and the person that you're looking at right now that's sitting between you and retaining is a man that has pushed you over every day you've seen them for the last year. I'm not saying that Outback Adam's a bully, but he is very strong. It's always... He's locking it in a rip! Rip is the larger man, though. Can he shrug this off? Oh, into the buckle! That's got to hurt, Adam. Oh, cups an elbow to the side of the jaw. He's fatigued already! Oh, Rip eats the corner. Oh, beautiful elbows from Outback Adam. Where's he taking this? The kangaroo! Oh my god! Every animal is represented today by Outback Adam. The crowd has lapped that up. Did you know Outback Adam is one of the only wrestlers in AWA that can work walk forward and backwards? Wow. Yeah. What about Diana? No, no. Of course not. That, that was preposterous. Wombat takes the tag. The butter! Let's go, Wombat. Oh, oh. Just got him up. Slams him into the ground. Oh! Oh! And one out of are eliminated. Who do we have in next? Look, they put in a strong oh. fight while they're in. Oh, this is the Republic. That's more than a tag team, that's at least four. We've got two members of the Daniels Republic, Roberto Pacino and the wettest wrestler in AWA, Dragon. Dragon flying into the ring. What is, absolutely oh no time. This is not the same Dragon I saw just two weeks earlier. He must be on some kind of incredible diet here. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, he's going for a spin. Bishop with a very unusual pin there. Yeah, the fear in Roberto Pacino's eyes just then. He thought it was all over before he got to go in. Oh my God. Sunset Flip goes for the pin. Oh, two, hey, good two count from Bishop. A coup tount. Yeah. Watch out for those coup tounts. Oh, jeez. Oh. Bobby. Oh, oh goes for the roll up. Oh, two and a half. I'm loving the incredible offense from Bobby Bishop today. He's showing some fire that we have not seen from him. I'm gonna say ever. It's definitely a new, oh. 
Bishop spent the last couple of weeks down training in PWA, and it's really showing what it's doing for him, isn't it? It is, it is. There's some incredible characters down there, and he's picked up a lot of their uh, very un unconventional style. It feels like every other show, Bishop comes back, and his moveset has completely evolved from Merwell's last. Mm. Much like a Pichu into a Pikachu, and then further a Raichu. Yes. What's a Pichu? It's a little one. Oh, okay. All right, Dragon is laying down the law here. The Republic law, which is not recognized in Australia, obviously. No, it's not recognized even by the UN, you'd find. No, it's... Does he do the unthinkable? Roberto is being tagged in! It's the game changer! Oh, sweet God. Roberto, coming in. What does he do? Let's, we are going to find out what Roberto does. Those stomps went four years in NIDA, okay? Wow. Those are some classy stomps. That's it. I don't know what that means, but does it have a SAG card? He's not unionized, of course not. He's not unionized? He's too good for the unions, look at him! be seen with a non-union member in the ring? This is madness! I mean, this is pro wrestling, but jeez! Quick tag, Dragon back in. The Republic is really showing what they're here to do. A bunch of stabs is what they do. And you can't, hey, as much as I've been praising Bobby Bishop, you can't discount the strategy here of cutting Rip Riley out of this match. That is a great idea by the Republic. Cutting hard-working union members out of their deserving wage. Oh, I hate this independent contractor, I do. I do, based purely on that. On nothing else does he annoy me. Gets Bishop into the corner. Catches him with the clothesline. Could this be the performance of a year? Oh. Mm. Roberto is that close to scoring his Oscar nomination. He oh. tags in, Dragon steps through. Yeah, but he's going off stage for an encore. And other such acting references. Bishop's looking a little, a little tired now. <laughs> Referee Patrick leaping out of the way like a thundercat. Oh, elbow of his own with Bobby Bishop. Boot. And then... Oh. Patrick, did you see that? No. I'd be surprised that referee sees his own reflection in the morning. Why would that surprise you? Ah, oh, I get it. All right. Oh! oh. 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 Gorgeous reversal oh. by Bobby Bishop. That's a new one for that boy. And here come the heavy guns on both sides, apparently. Oh. Yeah, Roberto did not think this one through. He's going to have a neck like a stack full of dimes, I thought that. I think when Roberto watches the tape back, he'll realize he actually ran um, Dragon's lines there, and he was not meant to be the man in the ring right now with Rip. No, he's... Look. He is stunt doubling himself right now. And I would know. Huge whip. Whoa. Catches the boot, what's he going for? Don't get too distracted with Dragon though, Roberto is the legal man. Uh oh. Referee Patrick needs to control this match right now. Bobby's come back in. Can he take down Dragon? Oh, getting a little hot sauce on his chin there. Oh, Cabana special. Blind tag there by Roberto. I don't think Bobby saw it. He's focusing too much on Dragon. Oh, what's Roberto going for here? He's calling for the curtain call. Oh, oh reversed. Oh, this is done. Reverse Roberto right down. Pressure, leg sweep. And the Republic oh, is Republic out of here. We're done with it. Drop. Jump in the gun right now, we have the next contenders, Shen next. No, time to take a breath in this hot, fast and furious match. Mitch Ryder, Cedric Brave. How much will the Retro Bros have to go through to maintain their titles? It's got him up in a bad territory. And reverse through. Bobby with the push. He pushes someone else. Oh! Bishop must be out, like, out for the night. He's done. He's done. No way. Hope his hotel's nearby. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh! oh Neckbreaker. Someone call the ambulance. Kicks out at two? Impossible. 
He must have had an extra life saved up or something because Bobby Bishop is dead on his feet right now. The retro bro is soon to be retro. Oh, nearly got to rip. We've got some strange tag team offense here, whipping through. Ryder and Bray. The synchronicity with these two. Takes the tag. I gotta say, they look pretty in pink. Oh, suplexed European combo. Rip breaks it up. What is it gonna take to put Bobby Bishop down? Bobby needs to get himself out of this match. He needs to tag in Riley. He's much more fresh than he is at the moment. Oh, that or Konami code, I think. I was going for a whip here. Whip through. Ooh, hung up. Bobby to dry. needs to get that tag. And rips in. Oh, clap to the ground. I've seen some houses of fire, but that is the biggest one. Oh, damn! Just an absolute battering ram. Rips going for the tag. They want to look for a double team. Close this one out early. What combo will we see? Oh. Oh, it's over. Busted in half. Go Cedric Braves going to be out. And broken up. Rip did not like that. Whoa. Oh, right, I copped it on the way out there. Rip's taking care of Ryder on the outside, putting him through a turnbuckle. Hey, who what just happened there? Oh, what was that? Is that the belt? Is that, is that Eastman by the ring? Todd Eastman passed the belt in. It's over. Did you see what happened there? I could have sworn I saw the belt just... Todd Eastman threw that championship belt to Jen next. God yes. damn it, Eastman. Took them to some kind of next level. Do you have anything to say about that, Sebastian? I just feel so bad for the Retro Bros. The Retro Bros just, just they cheated out of the victory. Their way through almost all of that gauntlet match. That can never go down team. like that. That's not that's not a way to go out. If there's any justice in the AWA, we'll see that reversed. You know, I like his other clients. I'm, I'm a big supporter of Jake Nova. But I think I was just starting to come around on the Retro Bros and I'm damn disappointed with how that went down. Yeah, Jake Nova's got to find some better friends. Eastman should be disgusted with himself. I'm sure he won't be. It's typical. Absolutely typical. Typical. Jack Tar coming through. I'm not sure what rank he is, but he is some sort of officer. Whatever the angriest rank in the Navy is, is his rank. Just a, just a, a very aggressive, aggressive commander of the ring. And I've heard he refers to the ring as some sort of vessel. I don't know if he knows that it is in fact a wrestling ring. The wrestling ring, I suppose you could say. Is I he would... German? Wow, thank you. 
can work out my accent. Now, let's talk a little bit about Jack Tar. Look at the pure size of this competitor. Yeah, that is... The ability to lift anything on the Navy warship is very important. You've got to lift guns, you have to lift each other's spirits. I think he personally pulls the anchor in by himself. One of those big aircraft carrier anchors, though. Yeah, you see that on his pants? That's not, uh, that's not adornment. That is an actual anchor. And his opponents. Talking about strong boys. Mm. We have the strongest looking wrestler in AWA coming out. There is strongest no way looking. that this boy saying, will not look strong. Are you saying this aesthetic is not pure creatine slash protein? No, no, no. I'm, I'm mix of chemicals to make it for I'm every time of the day. That if you want a man to look strong, it's JL. JL will look strong no matter what. He is strong. Look at that. Oh, look at absolutely. That what boy. a competitor. Those deltoids have their own hang-up. And him and Xander Sullivan, you know, members of Headstrong on such different paths at the moment, right? We have Xander, of course, competing later on tonight in the main event, Three Stages of Hell. We do. Xander's well, singles way. career has just torn out the gate. And Daryl Gold has been fighting in these, in these lower card matches, but he's been impressing a lot of the officials out the back. And he's been racking up those wins. Win, win, win. That's it. That's what JL's here to do. Look strong and win. That's it. He's a consistent performer. So at our last show, we did have Jack Tar facing Adonis. Adonis walking away with that win. Can Jack Tar make a bigger impact here in his second match at AWA? I guess we're about to find out. Mm. We know what to expect from these pecs. These pecs are going to hit each other and it's going to make an excellent sound. I'm looking forward to it. Crowd already hyped for JL Gold because they know that the boots of this competitor here have torn apart several competitors on the way up. Oh. Strong lock up in the middle, and we have ooh, a strength off immediately. Jack Tar is hanging on for dear life. Oh, oh, the crafty veteran taking control. Oh, he's gone through for the crucifix. No, nearly no. That's a good strategy by JL. Just look at how top heavy Jack Tar has to be. You land him in one of those positions, it's gonna be hard for him to kick out. That's exactly right, it's all physics. He can use his weight against him. Oh, just simply manhandling JL into the corner. That's it, that strength is, oh, missing the chop. This is gonna be your typical speed versus strength bout, I'd say. I think it's tactics, my man. What you work out at the gym, what you put in, oh. is what you get out. I feel like this is more like a Nutrigrain versus Wheat Bix kind of match. It's all about the nutrition plan. So which one's the Iron Man? Um, I'm going to find out from this chop right now. Oh! Geo Gold not playing fair today. No. Unexpected. Oh, crossbody! Oh. Oh, walking it off, Jack Tar. I think he's got a head full of... No, he's showing there. great discipline. The kind of discipline you get from years in the Navy. He's going back, he's taking a rest, he's making sure that his head's strong straight, you know? Oh! You missed the dive from J.O. Gold there. Looks like you need your head on straight, Sir Brulio. You'd think the Navy boy would be the one learning to dive out, wouldn't you? Ah. Uh, no, I think you meant to stay in the ship. Right? Yeah, it probably helps. Ooh, jeez. I didn't see that punch, but I felt it. Oh, he's taking gold to the ring post. Boof! Tom making his way back in. See, calm and collected. He's having a great time right now. That's it. He's just taking control of the ring like he takes control. This man of ship. has wrestled an actual manatee before. That's a fact. That is a have. fact. Manatee on the top of this card, in fact. There are, there are species of dolphins that don't exist because this man wrestled them to death. That's a terrible accusation. I'm going to look into this. Peter, if you're listening. Please, please try, Jack Tar. We're going to put in the boot to JL Gold there. Makes me wonder about all the people under him he's putting the boot to. 
The official here looking to take control back. Referee Beck getting right in his face. Straight down the line. Oh. Those forearms he's throwing at me, that man's arms weigh more than my legs. JL's taking a hell of a beating. Oh. I really feel for JL here. I felt that one over here. Goes to the cover. He's still in it. That veteran spirit allowing him to kick out. Ooh, fighting for a suplex, but Gold firing back. Ooh, they're looking rough. How many Europeans is Gold going to throw? She gets in sync. He's fighting for that suplex. Nope, whip. Where's this going? Oh! He is out. Oh, power slam. Beautiful power slam. Not powerful enough. Ooh, is Jack Tar dragging anchor? Looks like he is not going to be able to keep on top of JL Gold here. Taking his time. Trying to get to the middle of the ring for that suplex again. I don't think Gold is. And he's up! Oh. Down! I do not think JL Gold is used to taking this much punishment in any match. Two count by the official. Jail Gold's going to have to find an opportunity. He's going to have to find something soon because he can't possibly take that punishment over and over again. Walks into the corner. What's he thinking? Setting him up for some chops. Ooh. The ones that he could not get at the start of the match. Oh, he's delighting in this punishment. Whoop. Nobody home. In the guts. In the eye. Aye, aye, Captain. Yep, gold going up top. Bit of Air Force versus Navy here, am I right? Oh, goes over. Oh, catches the super kick. And he's up, he's up, he's up. Go for another power slam. Oh, power slam, oh. middle of the ring. Call it, Doc. No! no. Just can't keep those shoulders down. Gold is slowly fighting for position. Jack Tar squatting, trying to get some relief in his legs. I think he's a bit stiff from all this. He's an absolute masochist. Look at that. appropriately calling we want semen we want more sailors taking the opportunity to fight in the wrestling ring we just want to show our respect to all those that have served in the military we do combat wombat jack tar let's say blair seeker who oh, knows many others yeah. at various points i believe everyone in the daniels republic has to serve um compulsory military service as well if in the republic itself mm. I know they have to serve as tableware at the Daniels house. Well, of course. I mean, he's not going to sit on chairs and eat at a table when he has Dragon and Roberto, am I right? That's right. Oh, God. Oh, the is official a, needs to get out of there. He is in a really bad spot. But fighting out. I think he's going to be able to reverse his way out. Jail Gold warming the crowd. Getting that crowd behind him for the top rope maneuver. Maybe got his flight clearance. This is a long way. Oh, it's the, the elbow, elbow drop. drop. No! He's going to have to get a little more hot sauce on that elbow to put him down. <laughs> oh, what's he going for? Oh, he's got the pump handle. Reverses through, and oh. body beautiful from Jack Tar. Oh, two and three quarters, easy. 
the depths these men are going to have to plunge to to finish this match. Tar goes for the whip. Oh, catches him with the knee to the gut. Bring him up for the military, for military press. press. Oh my god! Oh, wiggles out. Super Super kick. Kick. Goal's got him in that finish. Oh! It's over. Absolutely bombed. Joining us for our second tag team match of the night. The team of we have the veteran tag team duo itself, Sorrow and Ash. Sorrow, of course, has his sights set to our other tag team coming through, featuring Adonis. Former tag team fighters with a really checkered history. Former tag team champions, even. I believe that uh, they have no hard feelings to be lost in this match, that's for sure. Sorrow spent the better part of 2019 trying to shape and twist Adonis into something dark. But our Gordon boy came right back to us, didn't he? That's absolutely right. He endured the punishment from Sorrow, and I believe that Sorrow's not going to be holding back in any fashion. He's brought his old companion, Ash, who we know to be an extremely brutal heavy hitter. Yeah. Ash, of course, an absolute veteran from the Gold Coast, coming down here to help his old ally do what he needs to do. And their opponents. Now this next team's a bit of an unusual one, of course. We do have the Greek god himself, Adonis, but his tag team partner. Hey, you watch this kid, he's going places. Jason Hyde will not be in hiding for long. He is a high-flying, I'm gonna say, what's a, what's a seabird that no one's using as a wrestling name right a now? Pelican. Pelican of the ring. Wait, why is seabird? Well, we got an eagle, we got an osprey. Oh, we got that's all true. sorts of birds. Here he is himself, there the Greek is. god and the pelican of the sea. <laughs> Looking figuratively and literally slick as ever. We'll have to find out what kind of chemistry these two have. I don't think they've ever been in a ring together as one. No, definitely on the same side. You of course know Jason Hyde here is the man with the shooting star press you've just got to see. That's it. His flips have all the talk and he is not just all talk. Bruce Adonis is a lot of talk, but by God, he can back it up. Oh, absolutely. Some say he cannot be held in a submission. He is just too greasy. Referee James Yeager keeping these two apart before that bell rings. James Yeager not keeping himself uh, apart, I believe. He was sipping from a hip flask when I saw him backstage earlier. Listen, life's difficult for everyone, and we all handle it in different ways. You're right. I, well... That was very rude of me to shame him. He did mouth some horrible words at me, but that's my own problem. Hey, it's tough. It's tough being an AWA official. What? What is he calling for? Is he calling for a moonsault? I think. I think. Adonis or a destroyer. Is be, wow. I'm excited. All right, Adonis is starting off, and it looks like Sorrow is also. Looks like we're going to jump straight to the chase. Referee prepping both of the opponents. Oh no. Uh, oh, so now our referee's hands are covered in oil. How's he going to do a count with such slippery hands? Adonis, think tactically by then. Yeah. 
And we've started. Oh, oh. cowering. Look at this. This is absolutely typical, but I'm so excited to see Ash work in the AWA ring that I'm kind of happy this tag happened so quickly. Ash warming up his neck. Very important. He is just scowling at Adonis here. Whoa! Look at how quick he was with that takedown. That's it. He took that solid knee base and just threw him to the ground. And once again, getting the Greek god off balance. Adonis scouting it and hits him with a solid forearm. Pushes him through. And a boot! Oh! There was a tag there by Sora. I'm not sure Adonis has seen it yet. Oh! Nope. Happy to stay out. He is the legal com uh, competitor, though. He also has the literal word of God behind him. So, I mean, there's that. I've been on my time, bitch. You're on my clock. Whoa! The crowd is definitely with Adonis on this one, though. Ash taking himself to a vertical base. Oh! Well, he's off guard. Just absolutely dog shots him. Uh, James Yeager, come on, intervene with this. Look at these clowns. He's starting the count. No, the strength of Adonis is too much. An absolute violence party coming through. Double close line! Uh oh. Unpopular. Adonis going for a bit of a hunt there, stalking up behind Ash outside the ring. Whoa! Clap oh God, what's Hyde calling for? Uh oh. Clearing out house. Here we go. The dive from Jason Hyde. Oh, oh my God! Absolutely cleared the top rope. Like the sea pelican that he is. That's what they're known for. Yep. Scooping up fish and scooping up victories in tag team matches. I think a kingfisher might have been a better bird to go with, but Damn, we're committed that's good. to sea pelican. Ah, oh, man. I'm like land pelican, I guess. He pelican win this match. Oh! Beautiful springboard forearm there. Lining him up for something here. What do we got? Oh, he's up. Oh, goes to the head scissors. Swings him through. Hyde has got the chops. Misses with the line and the back elbow. Oh, step up in Seguri. Nails him the side of the jaw. Sorry, he's going to the wrong corner. Uh-oh. I don't know if he knows where he is right now. I think you've got Hyde perched and ready to go across from you. You're in the wrong corner, wherever you are. Oh, does he go for it early, though? He's in the position. He's pointing to the top rope. We know what he does with these top ropes. Oh, oh tripped up by Sorrow. Veteran instinct. Wins every time. Some of the time. Uh-oh. Oh, damn, that looks like it's going to... Oh, ah! yeah, that's going to leave a mark. That's, yeah. Got a hide-shaped print in the middle of the ring. Where's your talking now, bitch? Bring him up to his corner. Oh, I'm just working the gut. Those hand wraps keeping his wrist in place from beating everyone senseless for the past 10, 15 years. Ash is not here to play games today, is he? No, he is a hard hitter. And a hard stopper. I've heard whispers of one of the uh, rumbles happening up on the Gold Coast. This man can work a kendo stick. Well, hopefully James Yeager will catch that if it comes out. We don't want to see weapons in this match. The only weapons we want to see are the AWA veterans 
as they beat each other senseless. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas is a good one. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Ooh. Work to the corner again. They're singing that song again. That song that gets us uh, taken off YouTube. It's, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know if that's a uh, song with rights on it. Beautiful. Speaking of turning the lights off, that knee to the side of Hyde's face kind of done him any favors. He can't get him. Sorry is untouchable at this point. Despite the leering of the crowd. Lincoln Park, I believe. This is Blink-182. In the end, it doesn't even matter. Lincoln oh, Park, weren't they singing... Um... Yeah, they switched songs halfway now. Oh, they now. did off. <laughs> We've got a jukebox here. These kids. The whip reversal just nailed Hyde just then. Oh, Ash just showing it's off. It's almost like Ash is saying to Adonis, I'm the better tag team partner for Sorrow. I was the best option. You were never this good. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's like the stepmother who stepped into the boots mm. as soon as she left. And tell you what, if that's what he's saying, he's damn right. Mm. The, the chemistry of these two is just so good. I mean, obviously they shop at the same store. That's a good starting basis, though. Mm. Like, do we have a hot? Is there a hot topic? Maybe, maybe in New South Wales there is. I'll tell you what's a hot topic. Who's going to win this match? Is Jason Hyde's fighting back up again? Hey, you would ask me two seconds ago. I would have said it was obvious, but right now, when this boy's you know doing what he's doing, yeah, the ring IQ is uh, coming under criticism here, and a clear choke from Sorrow. I don't think he's just getting a lump of coal for Christmas. He's going to get the Australian coal industry for Christmas. He's definitely getting his lumps, that's for sure. Mm. Whoa! Single leg, just... You see the crescent that his body moved in when he hit that drop kick? Mm. Beautiful. I was distracted by Jason Hyde's jaw flying out the door. Still not able to pin him, though. He's going around for the power oh. slam. Adonis went for a sneaky tag there, but his arms weren't quite long enough. Going for the second pin. Very arrogant pin from Sorrow here. And blatant cheating in front of the ref. You cannot ground and pound in the AWA. James Yeager attempting to get some control back here. in the corner. Adonis needs to stop talking to the referees, distracting him. The strategy is not going to work out well. Uh-oh. Hyde fires back. He's back on top. Can he get to the corner? Oh, no, he has to go oh. through Ash. God. How good is Ash? Damn. Headspring out. And his tag is back. He just kicked up off of him. That's incredible. Close lines from Adonis. Big Polish hammer. And the Sparta kick throws Ash to the corner. And here we go. Pummeling him, Adonis. And these two are rolling around like adolescent children who've been told they cannot have any more red cordial. What's Adonis setting up here? Oh! Chops are on special at Super Butcher. Five ninety nine a clap. Look at this, Adonis hanging on for dear life. Hyde goes for the tag. 
rare lapse of judgment there. Sora letting him put, get himself put into the uh, opposition's corner. And now they're just rolling around like, like slugs, I want to mm. say. Oh, Donis is on his feet now. And he's coming right towards us. Up oh, into the brick wall. Ash in the meantime taking care of Hard in the ring. The classic flying forearm of Jason Hyde taking him right on down. I don't know where to look, there's too much going on. Adonis just shoved the ref. I think he's oh, lost his mind Oh, look at the ring though. Look at where Ash is and look who's with him. He's going up top. Heading up the crowd. Looking furious about this. Oh my God! I don't think he got all of it, but Ash is picking him up for something. Just a big caveman throw to the corner. He's lining himself up for his own top rope maneuver. Oh, rolling stunner off the top rope. Jason's looking very humbled by that one. Sorry, coming in. Uh oh, this is not looking good. Not looking good. Adonis just splayed out on the apron, on the side of the ring there. Setting up for a tag team maneuver. Ah, oh, twisting. Goes to the cover. And that's it. Winners of this match, the team of sorrow.
right now than I remember there being in the past. So that's got to be a plus, right? That's the biggest plus I've ever seen. That's a bigger plus than the Switzerland national flag. And that's a pretty big plus. So right now we have the Devil's Double. Jesse Daniels making his way to the ring. Now this match has a very interesting stipulation placed upon it. It is for the number one contender spot in AWA. However, if humanity loses, he must relinquish his mask. The crowd having a whale of a time with this guy. Yep. Just stay away from any Japanese research vessels in here, you'll be fine. Well, I have noted that the Dennis Republic do feature tridents on their belt. They have added that to their gear, I think, to tactically get in the mind of humanity. And it also should be said, I believe Manatee is a delicacy in the Republic. Oh, good God, no. If it's endangered, it's a delicacy. That's, the, uh, that, that's their slogan, but it's not my stance. I thought they were landlocked. Landlocked, ocean locked, who knows? Now, referee Pat has got to keep his eyes wide open because we have the Republic in the corner with Jesse Daniels this match. This has to be the world, oh, Commissioner. Jesse Daniels, I'm sick of your stupid tricks. Referee, remove his gauntlets. I'm for the match. I just did it. The commissioner laying down the law, requesting the referee to remove Daniel's gauntlets from this match. Trust me, if you've seen one Jesse Daniel's match, you've seen somebody choked with those gauntlet laces. That's Literally any match, just pick it. He gets in there and he hides the lace behind his arm. It's clever, but that's damn cheating. Roberto is furious Roberto about that. Roberto is giving the performance of a lifetime right now. Oh no, that's all genuine. He, he is... A very upset little he's man. He's a method actor. Look at him. No, he's not on meth. Don't worry about that. He's just like that. If anything, I think the commissioner is being a little bit too nice right now. Just removing the gauntlet. He should be removing the entire Daniels Republic from this match. Oh, I could not agree with you more on that one. Look, they're getting in the ring already. And while there's such a fest in giving word, I am sick of you two soulless bitches interfering in his matches. Training, reporter, you're better to reach side. Hallelujah! That is why they pay this man the big bucks. Tell her, Commissioner. Nice work, Charm. Commissioner Charm has been the Daniels Republic from ring 
side. I guess they're going to go back to being bin side to try and pick up a few yeah. scraps. I'm not sure Jesse Daniels knows how to wrestle a match that has fair stipulations for both sides in it. Yeah, he's looking worried. He's looking rattled. Oh, and the oh school boy! <laughs> oh, oh, two count. I had the bell ready, Seb. I did, I did. Ring the bell. I say knowingly. Oh, Daniel's already rattled that. Oh, back. takes a kick. Humanity is up and out. Bam! Beautiful flying forearm. Kitchen sink and oh, going for the springboard spring stutter. Bam! He is looking to end this early. And the veteran instinct of Daniel's kicking in. He is going to take a rest. Get that back back in line. But is he going to catch a dive instead? Nope. Oh, catches oh. the fist, grabs him by the hair. That hair is a target, gotta tell you. Integrate oh. countered. Blocked it. Second didn't block integrate. the second one, though. Mm. I was seeing some good counters from both of these fine competitors who have read each other like books. Because that's what you read, is books. Oops. It was genuinely silly of me to think that he, without the Republic, could have no way of cheating in this match. That's me. That's my bad. Jesse Daniels, you're a bad person. He eats cheats. Because you are what you eat. Absolutely. Oh! The groin into the post. Pat is watching that with an eagle eye. And he is mouthing off at Jesse Daniels at this moment. Daniels is fitting in quite a few stomps in the meantime. Restarts the count. Oh, savage kick to the head. Now, it has to be said, win or loss, that determines the number one contender. That determines if humanity keeps his mask. He can lose both of those by count out. This is not a title retention situation. You lose, you lose. So I love your sex tape. I'm calling the police. You can call them all you want. Um, I'm going to run away very quickly. Oh! What was that? Glory B! Daniels is going to have to pick him up and put him back in the ring because, as we know, we need a three count on the shoulders, my friends. I think you mentioned the Republic going into the bin earlier. I think Jesse Daniels just tried to take a dive into one. Mm. Looking for that banana skin to get that potassium. And he's taking his time getting back in the ring. Here he comes. Quick boot to Matat. Oh! Attacks humanity. Humanity is back on top. Uh oh. Scooped and slammed. Daniels is not going to get too cocky in this, though. Humanity has a lot of tricks. Oh, goes to the oh, absolutely cocky pin there. Uh-oh. What's he doing with his hand? Oh. Oh. Joint manipulation is not allowed. Hence the official start in the five count there. Daniels is going to have to figure out a way to get some moves in. He is just doing some cocky strikes at this point. It would shock you to know this, but I'm happy to teach him a man that I have knowledge. I like to share it. Did you know that Daniels right now is sporting the most popular haircut in the Daniels Republic? Oh, and what is that called? It's called the Supreme Leader. Um, yeah, you just go into their um, many affluent barbers that they have so many of. Mm -hmm. um, sit down and you request a, um, a Daniel Republic special. I don't believe you. No, no, it's absolutely true. It'll cost you five Bengals. Now, I've seen a lot of the Republic and they are bald. Oh, bald or balding, but this is the preferred this is the preferred style of haircut though. God damn, did you see the talk on that? I think humanity might still be spitting to this very day. 
but it does not keep him down. You can see him thinking. He's trying to come up with a devilish plan. Up oh, straight to the choke. Always with the choking in the Republic. Yeah, it's their preferred method. Well, it's how they show their love. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm. You can read it all in the autobiography of Jesse Daniels. It's a hard read. I'll be very honest, but you know, I do my I do my due diligence as a commentator. Yeah, you really are a devil's advocate, aren't you? No, absolutely not. He's the worst human being I've ever met. Oh, good. But I've done my research on him. Calling for a different Jesse. Oh, and the hip toss. No, reversed. Off of the back body. No. Ducks the clothesline. Gets caught. Turned around. Blue Thunder Bomb. Blue the ring. Thunder Bomb. Mm, classy. Ooh. Hughes pulls and he, oh, he's got another idea though, doesn't he? The straps are down. Elevates him. No. Oh. Oh, Devil's DDT. Did he get enough in that? Couldn't make the cover, too exhausted, and Manatee rolled onto his side. Which, by the way, is the safest way to uh He is in the recovery lay, position, yeah. 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 Is that knee is that knee is banned recovery position organized? Mm. No one's choking today, Jesse. Jesse's back looks like it's given out this match. From the word go, we saw him clutching at it. Well, Hugh is a, definitely a big boy. He's densely packed. Yeah, I don't know if he'll be able to lift him for uh, some of his signature moves here. He has a variety of the rock bottom. I'm going to call the Dante's Peak. Mm. Mm. Not bad. Boo, indeed. Here they are, squaring off in the middle of the ring. Trading blows back and forth. Nothing like it. Just two boxes. Bashing each other's brains out. That's what the people of Brisbane really want. Oh, there's some mustard on those forearms. Working the guts. And the whip is through. What's humanity got? Beautiful splash. Oh, what's he thinking, though? Oh, God! Ness! I don't think I've ever seen humanity up top. No, humanity is known more for sliding into the water, not so much jumping into it. So let's see what he can do. He's taking some uh, dolphin like oh, influence. Missed, oh. rolled through, though. Caught. Oh! Caught. Spine bust in the middle of the ring. Goes for the cover. Oh, two count. Humanity's still up. He's still energized. Walking it off. He's walking it off. I think these punches are making him more powerful. Whips him through. Oh! So I think we should talk about how important and how much a mask means to a Lucha Libre wrestler. Mm. A mask, it isn't just part of their identity. It's a part of their culture. It's who they come, you know, who they are, you know, their family, where they've come from. It means so much to them. So right now, Hugh isn't just fighting for himself. He isn't just fighting for his mask. He's fighting for so much more than that. He's fighting for his legacy. Oh, caught. Flips through. Where can he take it? Goes Avoid the super, the super kick. kick. Oh, it's a gooey. Catches a Pele. Referee Pat's in dangerous territory, He's though. He's getting a little bit close at the moment. Oh, no, no, no! Oh, you know what? Pat down! He deserved that. He was clearly in the way. He lined himself up. Ah, in the dongus. And we're going to see a lot of cheating. We are going to see some... Just a mixing of decks here. Oh. It wouldn't be an AWA show if Patrick didn't try and ruin it. 
Of all the referees, I think Patrick has taken the most punishment. That's for sure. Absolutely. He might just be the clumsiest human being I've ever met. Well, come on now. No, you're right. You're right. We had this old um, Rob referee years back. He was the clumsiest referee I've ever met. That's a close second. Oh, God. Humanity's going to need a chair after what's about to happen to him. It's looking ugly, folks. Oh, I can see here the commissioner making his way to the front. Oh, God. Devil's DDT under the We've chair. Got second official James Jaeger making his way into the ring. Taking the chair away. Clearing the chair, making sure this is a fair match. It looks oh. like Patrick is not moving. Thank the almighty. Jaeger is arguing it. This is good. This is good. He's pushing it. He has been pushed before, and it doesn't usually end well. These yes. two have a history. This referee will not take shit from Jesse Daniels. Thunderbomb, middle of the ring, goes for the cover. The slowest count. What is this? Is, what is happening? James Jaeger, what is this? Avalanche slow. What is happening? Did it? Do my eyes deceive me? What are you doing, James? Count the pinfall, James! Sean, where are you hiring these people? Manity Official is going to lay down on it him. It was technically a two count. I'm surprised that Manity hasn't taken out his vengeance upon him. Oh, low blow by Daniels. Referee didn't see it. Yeah, they're putting on a mockery of a show here. Our Devil's DDT and middle boom, of the ring. In it goes. The fastest three uh. count I've ever seen. What is this absolute bullshit? The winner of this Twaddle! How does the Republic keep growing? I think they corrupt everyone they stand near. James Yeager, now a formal member of the Republic. I'm a fool. I'm the idiot here because I thought Jesse Daniels would fight a fair match. Of course he bloody wouldn't. Commissioner Sham watching on from the corner. He's going to have some stern words to say about this, I'm sure. Oh no. Jesse Daniels taking it to task on the mask of humanity. Daniels calling for a microphone. I'm sure this won't hurt. Uh. Well, all you people, all you people give me shit. Every time I come out here, you make fun of my hair, you boo me, you come up with the stupidest chance that only your mother would believe you basement virgins. And yet each time I come out here, I do better than anyone backstage. Humanity! Every time... We have fought, I have beaten you over and over and you, like every single one of these people was stupid enough to put your mask, the only thing that gets you put in matches on the line. What make you think you could ever beat the devil's double, Jesse Daniels? Now, now it's time for you to stand up and remove that mask once and for all. How about I remove it for you and take my trophy back? 
back to the Republic. Referee back approaching the ring. We had a little bit of an issue. Um, our last referee decided to defect to the Daniels Republic. That's right. That's why we're short of ref. Ugh. Disgusting. It looks like Nova is cautious to enter the ring with EC Diamond. And rightfully so. EC has a variety of moves that can come from any part of the ring. If you think you're safe just there, Jake, trust me, you are not. Referee back helping Jake Nova into... Nope. Not allowing the help. All right. Oh, no man is an island, Jake Nova. Not even some sort of Nova island. Referee about to call for the bell. Here it comes. Come on. 
No, EC is sizing up Jake Nova at this point, and Nova is saying, no, no, no. Don't want to borrow of it. Where's that rat Eastman at the moment? Oh, there he is. I normally don't, I normally don't mind Eastman. I like him, he's at a good taste and talent. Jake Nova, one of the greatest wrestlers in all of Queensland, maybe even Australia. I just can't get that foul taste out of my mouth of what he did in the tag team match earlier tonight. Mm. If we see double ups on that cheating, mm. Mm. I'm not gonna hold myself still. So EC showing that he is a talented chain wrestler there. Here we go, maybe up in the ring with a strong lock up again. Over takes the headlock. And EC pushes through. Oh, it's the shoulder block. Get used to that visual tonight. Jake Nova, not one of the biggest wrestlers in the company, but definitely the bigger of these two competitors. Oh. Look at the fire EC's got. Some impactful moves from EC. Oh, we've got the reverse whip. Nova pops him up. Whoa. Oh, goes to the pin. Kick out of two. Note the shoulder strap on Diamond as well. He's not at 100% coming into this bout. That's right. Wasn't able to secure that pin there. That would have been a sure thing any other night of the week. Eastman with a nice little bottle of water. He is, after all, the greatest manager in the world. Greatest manager ever. Ever. Oh. 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 Chasing. Throwing some water at the official. Eastman not going to have any bar of that. Ah. Eastman's eating some boots for his trouble. Oh. No mercy from Nova here. Comes in for the whip. Reverse. Oh, wow! Glides through with that Inseguri. Beautiful monkey flip. And taking his time, he's powering up. Tries to lock it in. DDT! Oh, you see the spike on that one, though? Mm. A seismic spike, that's for sure. <laughs> Disrespect from EC Diamond. Oh, caught. Oh, goes to the clothesline, catches the knee instead. Oh, pummeled by that forearm there. Oh, low chop by Nova. The fans are disparaging the Lakers at this point. Must have had a bad season, Seb. What the hell's Nova going to do from here? Notice that Nova seems to be trying to control the pace of this match. He's keeping things nice, paced, and slow. He's trying to keep it calm. Unlike Todd Eastman, who's getting real hot on the outside. No, well, Diamond is one to, you know, to take this match for an absolute ride. Oh. The second he gets it, you know, things where he wants it to be, it'll be too fast-paced for Nova. And it's a distraction every time. Classic Eastman. I mean, we talk some absolute shit about the Daniels Republic, but it can't be said that Eastman is not just as just as horrible at times too. I mean, for some reason, when he cheats, I'm not quite as upset. Well, he cheats, but he doesn't also take hostages, have a fake nation, have a made-up currency, and have a legally mandated haircut. No, that's but true. he does just he does cheat. It's not good. It's just levels of we're talking levels of horror here. Mm. He's just cheating himself with his. Extremely expensive taste in basketball merchandise. Mm. EC with a chop! Another chop! Ooh! Just blast him with a right hand. Ah, Nova getting a little aggressive here. Crocodile rolls him in. Where's he taking? Oh, back outside, all hung up to dry. There he is. 
in with a mean choke and a selfie. Well, it has to be said, the importance of social media in modern wrestling. Yeah, yada, 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 yada. I don't want to see it. Maybe show me some things that you're doing instead. Yeah, maybe release a, a, a video before a match rather than take one during. That's what I'm thinking. Ah, these promo videos I've heard so much about. I don't think they'll ever catch on. Ooh, strong shoulder from EC. Not letting Nova get to the top. No, no. No, no, Nova. You can stay down there. It's EC time. Nova's just staring him down. Uh, proudly showing his ring IQ. Yep, you don't be champ for you know over a year but being an idiot. And he's using his top rope timer for the best of his advantage. Ooh. Ooh! Is he answering back with a crotch shot? His crotches are getting a workout. Is this suplex gonna happen? Or are we just gonna see crotch shots back and forth? Oh my god! It's happening! Big superplex from the top delivered by EC Diamond! But did he sacrifice too much for that one? Can he capitalize upon it? Eastman's coming over. He's fanning a bit of sense into his 496 day champion, Jake Nova. Punching down. Oh, That's takes a it. knee. Oh. I don't know where he got this technique from, but these punches. And you got to think with this shoulder strap, they're not even as hard as they could be. There we go. Chop off. Chop off that AC has been asking for. Oh. Refusing. He's just giving those punches back. Referee Pat coming out to join us. Inseguri looks to have put Jake Nova out, but he's back on his feet. Caught. He sees too fast. And the head scissors is in, damn! Stoking the flames of EC Diamond. Running me in the corner. <laughs> oh, comes on the clothesline, swinging neck breaker. He is tuning up the band. No, rolling out that ring intuition. It's gonna save you every time. EC's tattered shoulder brace coming off now as he goes for the dive. Oh, looks like a rocket. Sensational. EC Diamond proving why he is worthy of that USA development, why he is so good. The many-time champion of UPW up north, EC Diamond, is just. But even more importantly, I mean, homecoming cup winner. Mm. Here he comes. Oh! That lifting uppercut. He's got in the power bomb position, and oh, middle of the ring. Out of two. I think that was using the spring of the ring to get those shoulders up. EC's got to be cracked in half at this point, like a delicious Christmas shrimp. We can Jack Nova suck out the juice and avoid the lethal intestine of the shrimp. He's 
top. But not for long. EC is eating these Jake Nova punches. We're quite the back and forth here. Oh, Whoa. that was over. Ducks the clothesline. Oh, avoids the flat check. Picks him up and whip. Reverse, though. Didn't avoid that one, though. Known for too quick. Scouting every move as it comes. Here he is, putting him in a very strange position here. Using a chop the chest. Now Easy is going to have to hang on or let go. Both choices are looking bad at this point. Very close count from that elbow. EC is just rolling around. Here he comes. He's taking the initiative. Flips him over. Firens. Oh, I think I've seen that move before. Mm -hmm. Shades of McCarthy right there. Strong buckle bomb. No, he is still conscious. Never is gripping his face there. I think he's trying to see some sense at this point. Taking cues from the crowd here. EC is climbing to that high altitude. But it's high altitude, high risk, and Nova is going to take advantage. The longtime champion. You don't think he's going for a Spanish fly, do you? Oh, God. The more Spanish, the better. Oh. Looks like EC's wiggling out of it. Oh, he's up. Oh. Top grip, Spanish fly. That's got to be it, Seb. No, he's picking him up to deliver something else. He's in. We're in a pile driving now. Oh, Jesus. EC, no. This kid has got nothing but heart. He's got nothing but heart because his brain has got to be in his bowels by now. The ref checking on EC to see if he's still with us. Nova definitely capitalizing upon that. Can EC show that he is, in fact, a cut above the rest? Oh! Locking in that move again. Oh, but reverse through. Oh, so super kick. kick! Nervous dead on his feet! Oh, call the coroner! It is chin season! Jake's still feeling the one he copped himself. A trio of super kicks. On the fourth day of Christmas, did my true love give to me another super kick? No! Oh, yes, God! He did! Bloody turned him inside out with that one. Feliz never dead. That's it, that's not gonna be enough, Nova. Oh, Brad! 
And we're starting so quickly as Tim Casey snuck up on in the ring by a. Oh, um, we don't even know who it is. I believe it's called Turbo Mysterio. He's pulled off the mask. Who is it? I can't see the face. It's Jackson Cross. Jackson Cross just not shot it. Ring the bell. Tim Kate. Oh, oh, in the middle of the ring. Sweet God. What was the last time we saw Cross in an AWA ring? Tim Kate is hurt right from the word go. An F5 and a spear is one hell of an open. Yeah, and you were just saying to me, he's going to hit an F5. Will he hit an F5? I, I don't thought think so. Timmy would be the one to do it. The masked competitor flinging his dirty pants at us. Kate jumping him. But just completely overpowered. Look, the definition is clear on these two uh, gym warriors, but the size difference is going to be extremely unfair. Jackson, the armbar Jesus cross, is locking Tim Kate in for a suplex here in the middle of the ring. Oh, he holds it. Oh, that is a vertical. Plain vertical, middle of the ring. Adding extra torque, pushing on the belly of Tim Kate to slam him into the ring as hard as possible. You remember that, that holding it there, that pause there, allows all of the blood to rush to the head of Tim Kate. That's going to make him dizzy. He's going to be woozy. He's not going to know where he is. Unlike his usual Friday nights out. Your words. Look, a match I'd like to see is Session Moth. Martina versus Tim Cade. I'm just saying that. That does sound interesting. 
Jackson's taking it to the outside here. Holding Tim by the pants. I guess the, the real big question here is why has Jackson been doing what he's been doing? If he, he, he's the master sailor, he's been the one that's been interfering in several of Tim Cade's matches over the, over the last few months. Mocking him by wearing his old mask when he used to tag with Australian Wolf. But what's he doing here? What's his angle here? What's he got to prove? I'm hoping we get some mic time and we find out after or during this match. What is Jackson lining up? No. Oh, just teasing him at this point. Playing with him like a wild dog. Jackson proudly strutting around the ring, knowing that he has scouted every move of Tim Cates to perform this brutal assault. And look at him, he's in incredible shape. Mm. Cowering over him, just slapping him across the face. Tim with the speed. Nope. Pushed off. Oh, nasty clothesline. Tim is just ragdolled onto the corner of the ring there. And now Jackson Cross is looking at the arm. And we know what he, do, we, he does with arms, don't we? He breaks them. He bars them? I don't, I don't know what, what description you were looking for there. I mean, he's not barred from breaking them, so... Yeah, he breaks it. We'd prefer if we didn't, though. It would be better. We're not going to pitch together. The Umbar G's is lifting him by his chin. His chinny chin chin. Ooh. A cruel punch to the face. That's a big chop. Come on, Timmy. I'm hoping Timmy can find something to capitalize on soon. Yes, the reverse whip. He's gonna get something. No! He's up! He's up! Yes! One! Two! No! Oh, and a knee for his troubles. Let's think about what a hell of a show this has been so far. How many changes we've got? New tag team champions. Jackson Cross is back from seemingly nowhere. We've got a uh, best of three title match coming on up after this uh, for the open weight championship. Humanity's being demasked. This is one crazy night, am I right? It is. It is. This is a typical AWA night. You never know what's going to happen. And look at that, the disrespect from Jackson Cross. He is just ragdolling Tim Cade around the ring. Treating him like a piece of puppetry. He is not popular with the crowd, that's for sure. No, that cocky pin is not enough. This New Zealand Nightcrawler is going to have to find another way to teleport himself into a victory. Oh, and here we are again with the clearly illegal joint manipulation. It is so hard to focus on a win when you're getting that pounding pain from the small joints. Now you're going to take attention here as well. What Jackson's doing here is working the arms. So when he locks in that arm bar, Tim Cade's going to have no choice but to tap out. He's weakening that joint. That joint cannot hold out. Oh, the fire from Tim Cade, though. He's forced him to the corner. Some shoulders coming in. He's back. Tim Cade's back, baby. 
Referee Pat forcing him out of the corner. Oh! That lifting knee strike. And here he is with the arm. He's been working that left arm the entire match. All I want for Christmas is an armbar. Tim's trying to stretch it out, but those tendons are not going. They just don't work anymore, Tim. Ooh, an orthodox pin there. Mm. I gotta tell you, I don't know what Jackson Cross wants from this match with these pins. He's trying to embarrass Tim Cade, I think. Mm. I think he's trying to make a, send a message here. Whoa, high back body drop. Ooh, Tim's not kicking out as fast as he did before. That back body really took it out of him. The speed and the agility of Tim Cade is what he is secondarily known for, apart from his uncompromising partying. I've seen Tim K deliver shots to people that might break their teeth. A stiff elbow from Jackson Cross. K needs to do something soon. He's been taking a beating now for quite some time. It is a hell of a beating. But it is holiday hell, so it does suit. Oh, this could be the opportunity. Oh, catches the boot. Oh, cradling him like a baby. Can Jackson compromise and find a move that he can do? Yes! Oh, beautiful, beautiful drop kick there by Cade. Missile drop kick rolls through. Hits him on the chin. Oh, oh no. The senton. Oh, Cross is too powerful. One hellacious buckle bomb! bomb. Oh. Just barely kicking out at two and three quarters. This is a nightmare of a match, Seb. I want to wake up and I want to see two very healthy awake men who haven't drilled each other through to the core of this earth. Jackson rolling himself into a better position here so he can watch his prey. I'm not sure if you can see it from here, but there are these massive welts on the back of Cross. He's taken a hell of a beating from Cade. Oh, those drop kicks in the corner, good God. Oh, went for the spear, caught. Ooh, the Canadian didn't get all of it. More took him more. more in his um, shoulder blades than he did in his head. But he is still looking hurt from that one. Kincaid is crawling. Crawling like a sick dog to the rope. Oh, I see Jackson's checking his jaw there. Oh! And that jaw just got checked by the foot of Tim Cade. He throws him out. Oh, what's Timmy got in mind? Nothing good, I'll bet. Spear to the outside! Both competitors completely out. You got a question to move like that. What was the wherewithal? What was the thought process of Tim Cade? Honestly, I don't think Tim cares about wins or losses tonight. I think Tim cares about payback. I think, yeah. Yeah, that message that uh, Jackson Cross is trying to send, he is saying, no, sir. Return to sender. Australia Post, fuck you. Tim Cade is choking him with the barrier. Oh, he's dragging him by the neck. That's about as illegal as you get. 
Oh god, what are they doing? Oh god, he's going by the hair, he's coming this way. Picking him up, oh. is he going for the F5 off the stage? No, 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 Jackson, no! Oh no. my god, Jackson, no! A pile oh. the stage. Who will be the first one up from that? The official checking on both men, seeing if they can continue. That might have been a last ditch effort from Jackson. Jackson now having Tim Cade by the hair. Lining something up. Oh, oh hits him rising the knee strike. And stealing our water, typical. Not sure if this is a religious ceremony, but he was dousing him in water. Baptism by fire, eh? Ah. Both men in the ring, and the pin is in. Oh! In like bins on a Wednesday night, which is my bin night. Now how will Tim Cade recover from the cervical damage of a pile driver to the goddamn stairs? Yeah, well, hey, Tim's a strong lad. Oh, wow! Oh, he's on the armor! The bell is ready. It's tap or snap. He's on the fingers again. That was a bit modified. He's going to go for the proper... What is he going for? Oh, knees into the back to just destroy the joint as he, I want to say, twerks it out of there. No, you see the way that Cade's cradling that arm? He is not in a good way. No. It will be oh, a Christmas miracle if he wins this match. Is it again? Come on, Kate, get those hips through. Get those hips through. He's turning it over. He's coming into it. Oh, he's deep in. The head is through. Can he wrestle out of it? Oh, he's up on top. Stop. Stops are in. Where is Kate going with this? Can he use anything with that just single arm? The F5 attempt! No! Couldn't lock it in. Release German. Oh. German to another plane of existence. Absolutely being manhandled by Cross. Jackson positioning him exactly where he wants him to be. This could be good night, Tim Cade. It is a 14 sleeps till Christmas. Oh, he slips through. Oh! Tim Cade's up. He's up quick as anything. Oh, goes to the missile drop thing. Partially deflected there by Cross. He didn't get it all. Cross but just if, hanging on for dear life at this it point. First you succeed, try again! He hits the second one! Pushing him off. A third missile drop kick, is it so? You wanted a Christmas miracle, right, Nick? This could be it. He's still on his feet, Seb. Can anything take down Jackson Cross at this point? We're seeing more missiles than the Iran Contra crisis. Oh, Kate hurting himself almost as badly as his opponent with these extremely just desperate moves. No! The shoulder barely up from that one.
I gotta tell you, the sheer fight in both these competitors is compelling. It's just awe-inspiring. But someone has to come out the winner at the end of this. Okay, so cradling those arms. He's going up for the F5. And the F5 is in! Middle of the ring. Can you give it the cover? Holding onto his ribs. Can K get to it? Now nah, that arm's giving out. He's in too much pain. Come on, K. Just roll through. No! He's got another plan in mind. He's getting to the ro he's getting to the turnbuckle. Seb, I don't want to be the ghost of Christmas future, but I don't think this is going to end well. Oh! No! Come he's caught the arm! arm. Cade, reverse, come on! No, he's locked in. This is over. Anyone? Oh, can he reach for the rope? Oh, the foot is on the rope! The toe! But was that enough to weaken it? Jackson's looking frustrated by that. That was everything he has. That was the, one of his strongest arm bars yet, I'd say. Tim's popping himself up. Oh, oh. DDT! Jake the Snake flying his way here right now would be proud. The nerve damage in these competitors must be compelling. Like, they must just be feeling these tingles through their spine right now. And not like you're going to wake up for a Christmas present. Like, I'm talking about, like, hot fire. Absolutely. Oh, ducks the clothesline. Kick. Boot to the chin. Oh, that knee. Here he comes. Jackson back at it. Oh, he's been followed. Ooh, answered. 1-800 reverse, though. Whoa! Oh. The cunning of Jackson Cross. Ah, uh, the Yakuza kick. Those knees do such a good job of rattling your opponent to the point that they can't, they can't get their defenses up. He's really just wearing them down bit by bit so we can, you know, can't keep a hold of those limbs like he needs to. No chance. Not even a chance. That's two for two. Came out of nowhere. He goes for the cover. One hand on. No! I don't know what to believe at this point. Do I believe in Santa Claus? Do I believe in Tim Cade? Yes. Tim Cade with the beard, riding through the streets at night in a sleigh? I could believe in that. I mean, it's happened more than once. Look at that. He is hanging on for dear life to that top rope with that single active arm. And Jackson's attempting a push on the referee because he knows if this hits, that is it. Jackson meeting him on the second rope. Not a popular meeting spot if I'm honest. Keep in mind here, Jackson Cross, the masked man, is the reason that right now Tim Kay is not an AWA champion. He took him out during the homecoming uh, main event. Oh, God. Oh! Top rope brain buster. Jeez. He's tapped. Oh. He's tapped. Oh. He's tapped.
matches for the AWA Openweight Championship. It is a three stages of hell match. First match is a singles match. Second match, a submission match. Third match, if necessary, is a hardcore match. Where everything is legal and falls count anywhere. First man to score two victories will win the match and be the AWA Open Weight Champion. Introducing first, the challenger. From Greeley, Colorado, USA, weighing 101 kilos, Warhead Sander Sullivan! The champion from the Gold Coast. He is the one who matters, Sebastian! Welcome to the main event of Holiday Hell here at the Trifford in December 2019. We are seeing the second contest of the Never Openweight Belt. Yep, the Queensland Openweight Championship on the line right here, right now. So the first match starts off as a basic singles match. When we get to the second match, it will be a submission match. And if we are in a tie, the third round will be determined under hardcore rules where falls count everywhere. Everywhere. Oh, that's more. Any for a prayer. Yep, in sync. Oh, missile from Xander. The beating that we just saw during that intro was something else. So this matches for more than just the Queensland Openweight Championship. It is also a loser leaves AWA match. So we're going to be walking out tonight with one less competitor amongst our ranks. I am sore at the end of this match. I am in love with both these competitors. This year has been a huge year for both Sebastian Matters and Xander Sullivan in every regard. Yep. Their matches with people in state, out of state have been nothing but exceptional. Yep, either way this match goes, it's a huge loss for AWA management and a huge loss for the fan base here. Ooh, Sebastian Matt is copying the worst of the outside entertainment here. He has got to find some way to compromise. You'll notice as well, we have an extra official at ringside just to make sure that things are you know, checked properly. And uh -oh. Yep, we still find ourselves on the stage, don't we? Xander, don't, don't suplex to the outs. No, no, no possible way. Nope. Reverses out. Through. And runs and out. Seb is no, he was no bar of this. Whoa! Xander with an incredible dive from the stage onto Seb there. Is Seb out? He is looking rough. Restarting the count, Xander Sullivan. And Seb looking to escape to buy some time. Matt is making his way back up to the stage. What's he thinking? Oh, he's found one of our chairs. Seb, what are you doing? Oh! Oh! You're disqualifying him. Ring the bell. So our first fall comes in Xander's favor by disqualification. Not the stupidest strategy. I know it sounds bad giving away a fall. But before this match restarts, if you can take your opponent apart with a chair like this. That's right. They've got no hope for the next two falls. That's right. If he can get enough damage in, the next two falls are his. Easy. This is robbing Peter to pay Paul right now. And which is normally a bad thing, but in this case, I think it could pay off. Mm. Gotta agree with you there, Seb. Referee Patrick attempting to get some order back here. We are restarting now. And we are commencing into the submission portion of the evening. Oh, here we are with a modified cross face. Xander looking pretty strong. He's, he's crawling through. 
army crawling to get out of the crossface. The strength of the upper body of Xander Sullivan on display. Now this is where the gamble pays off. If Sebastian Manners gets disqualified this time, he loses. That is it. It is quite the gamble. On the rope, Xander Sullivan. But maintaining risk control. Oh. Oh. oh, God. And instead of going for subs, we just get pumps to the head. Oh, he's tapping. Wow. Fall two we're, out already. We're it's round three. It's not the sub. We're in round three. We're here. Straight off into a hardcore match. Oh my god, Seb. These three phases are, are progressing too fast for me to count. So far, Sebastian Matt's plan is going off perfectly. Xander took way too much damage when Seb got disqualified, and now look who's on top. What is that? Is that a shoe? Is that a fan's shoe? He's clubbing him with a fan's shoe. You don't know where that's been. The bacterial damage alone. Oh my god, Sebastian Matters is going to attempt a shoey in the ring. Inhaling a beer from a sneaker. Oh, he would. Oh, oh my you god. You know what? That's probably the most sanitary thing he could have done. He could think of his own health, but I think the fans are going to tear him apart when he gets out of the ring. Think of the sure. poor fan that has a beer shoe right now. Another chair to the back for Sullivan. I know Xander seems like he's in a bad state, but I guarantee you he couldn't have hoped for a better outcome so far. He has won two rounds by default, I believe. No, one round. The other round was won by Sebastian Matters by submission. So this is the tiebreaker. But trust me, I think both competitors wanted it to make it to this hardcore match. Sure, the win would be good. Now I got more than just the win at stake here. I gotta tell you, I'm backing Sebastian for the hardcore. This hey. is a hardcore veteran. The scars on his forehead proving that. It's hard to compare though. I don't think Xander's forehead's actually scars. No, it's it's like a what would you call that? Like a carapace. Like a like an yeah. insect. Like an armadillo. Mm. Is that right? A powerful creature. Speaking of powerful creatures. Seb has masterfully put that chair between the second and third rope and is now lining up some horrible plan on Xander Sullivan. Oh! oh. Punished. Oh. A suplex from Xander. Not enough. We're going to see a lot more from both competitors before the end of this match, that's for certain. Xander's clutching at that right shoulder now. What will Xander find under this ring? As we know, the AWA ring is a mysterious portal to many things. Yeah, well, looks like a large piece of wood right now. Mm. The ring gods have been kind to Xander Sullivan. It is soaked in beer, as our very happy fans have helped out with. Attempting the suplex and blocked. Reversing through. And on top. Oh, the rising kick. Seb is going to charge in with a no reversed. Oh my God! Hip tossed through the plane. You can see the point of impact on the table was where Seb's neck landed. I can't tell you if the if the table snapped or if that was Sebastian's neck. That looked awful. Oh, kick out of two. Sebastian looking like he really is in Holiday Hill right now. I don't think his advent calendar has many chocolates left in it. No. Xander grabbing tights. Pushes through. Oh, went for the hammerhead. Couldn't get it. 
Oh. Oh. Xander catching the worst of that one. Big running knee on Xander Sullivan and the pin comes in. Looks like some fan intervention there. Someone has pushed the chair out of the ring, which Patrick, referee, has uh, decided is very much go. against the uh, AWA policy. Both competitors rising to their feet. Seb looking very happy about this. Oh. Goes for the code breakup. And the pin is in. No! Grab the ankle lock. Taking a little pressure off, but it's not enough. Seb is looking absolutely wretched. Can't even see that he's so close to the rope. There it is. Oh, it's still locked on deep. Have mercy, Sullivan. And the chair to the face. This is all legal, by the way. We Absolutely. are in the hardcore round. Submissions are not your smartest move. Knee to the face, that's never a good thing. You got it too. Seb fighting to his feet, he is the first one up. But he is limping, I don't know how much he can endure. Oh, what's he got planned now? He's going for a bit of a walk. He's heading out back. Oh he's no, fighting. what's he got here? Oh my god! Is that barbed wire? That looks like barbed wire. Seb, no! Look, I like a lot of things, but I don't like bloodshed, that's for certain. That stuff will cut you up like a hot knife through butter. That's a lot of barbed wire, in fact. And we got a chair as well, just for good measure. Seb planning a long game. Mm. I'm telling you, both competitors wanted the match to go this far, I think. Uh, sure, they would have been happy with the, the you know, clean sweep to begin with, but they wanted this hardcore match. It really makes you question, is this worth it? Is it worth taking that many years of your career with these chair shots and this barbed wire? Scraping away the nerves on your spine. Seb setting up two chairs in the middle of the ring. Maybe he just wants to talk it out. Maybe a, maybe an honest discourse, you know? That could just be it. And most of my honest talks don't start with, with stops. Yeah, that's a fair call. Oh, there it is. He's using it as a mantle to put the barbed wire table on. Look at that. That is not a fun time for anyone. I'm sure these sick fans are going to enjoy yeah. this. Oh god, Xander's on top. Well, if Xander can do anything about it, he is not the man going through that table. I'm going to say table more like contraption. Xander is powering up. We're up on the second rope. Second rope onto the barbed wire table. Tell me it is not the case. Ooh. Dangerous time for everyone here. Oh no, 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 no. Fuck no. this shit. Power bombs through the barbed wire. It is clinging to Xander's back. Oh, the referee oh. managed to get in there and pull some of this out. That is gonna stick. Ah, oh, Xander. He is stuck to the barbed wire. Gotta make sure it doesn't go around his throat. Look at those cuts, Seb. Ah. Oh. 
Where is the sense in this? Both of these men asking for such a match. That really proves to you how much this never open weight belt means to both of these men. God, what's Sebastian thinking here? Can you imagine the impact if he lands something? I hope we have paramedics on standby. No, Xander's fought out. Oh! oh! Straight to the head! There is nothing fake about that. And he is up for the hip toss. Brain oh! on the chair! He survive a brutal blow like that. The arm comes up, but is there anyone behind it? These men must have something else running through their veins. I gotta tell you. The gashes along Xander's back. Absolute carnage. Xander being willed up by the power of the crowd alone by the sound of it. Oh! Whoa. Stiff as a board. These stunning blows. God, I don't know what the question is, but that's the answer to it. Oh. Oh, wow. Jesus Christ. Thundercrack, a summer oh. storm of a fucking chop. Oh. Back fist to the, the chest. Face on that one. <laughs> Straight in the groin. No time for chops here, uh, my friends. I hope Xander was not planning on becoming a father anytime soon. Taking risk control and just stomping through the neck of Xander. He's trying to Sullivan. dislocate the shoulder right now, is what he's doing. But Xander is fighting up. Whoop. The hammerhead! Is this it? No! The collarbones, the the every I can't even name all the all the bones I'm worried about from both of these men. Just watching a grizzly match like this really reminds us that we are just sacks of meat yep. with solid bits in it. Oh god, oh, what's Santa found now? It could be a beanie. It could be a lovely bit of warm winter clothing. It Tis could, the season. Could be a, a Christmas stocking. Oh, no, but thumbtacks. Okay. It's thumbtacks for Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Santa got you the worst kind of stationery. Oh, man. The only thing you're drawing with that is blood. Yeah. Oh, he's tied in that submission again. He's already gotten one tap out from it tonight. Submit me once, shame on you. Submit me twice. Lose the match. Lose the match, that's it, yep. That's exactly how it works. Sebastian breaking the hold momentarily. Reaching for the barbed wire. Oh no. He's doing the hold with the barbed wire through. Have some humanity. No! Sad matters. A crown of thorns. Tis the season indeed. I think that's well, the Easter Jesus thing, right? It's Easter that that oh, occurs. Oh, but it's all Jesus, you know. You're, you're vaguely correct. <laughs> oh, God. The crown of thorns wrapping around everybody at this point. Oh, what's he planning here? Oh, we're up at a power bomb. Slips through. Goes to the code breaker. Gets caught. And we're up in a fireman's carry. Seb oh, is looking at death. Oh! <laughs> Attack the mat. 
Looks like he oh. caught the majority of those to the legs. Ah, uh, look at those trembling hands pulling out tacks. He's trying to find all of them, but it's going to be a long night, Seb. That's a lot of tax. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh. Codebreaker. Snap, Codebreaker. He's in no position to cover, though. Every portion of the ring at this point is covered in wrestlers or weapons. Yeah, I can't think of a single safe place to land right now. Nearly rung the bell with a candy cane there. That would not have worked. Well. But if it was ever going to work, it would work at Christmas. That's right. You got to believe. believe. <laughs> yeah, look at us. We started off as rivals and now we're the best of friends. No comment. Oh, shit. What more is there, Sebastian Matters is approaching Xander Sullivan with murder in his eyes. You see those zip ties he brought him with them? Zip That's ties. how he won the title. Oh, the zip ties, God. I won it after a match stoppage. Ref had to call it off. Xander could not defend himself. He zip ties his hands again. Xander's going to have to struggle. This is over. If you can't use your hands, you can't wrestle a match. I'm sorry. Right. We're Agreed. not all blessed as Orange Cassidy. Agree to disagree. Oh, you starting to see things my way? <laughs> yep. Oh. Oh. Sebastian Matters, chairman of the board, using his position of privilege for nothing but bad. And he is still looking for more weapons. Maybe he's got a gun under there. That's the next one. Oh my god, it's a chain. This relentless psychopath is going to do the most damage he possibly can with a ring of metal. God, it just keeps going. How long is a piece of string, am I right? Tanner just ripped a zip tie apart with his hands. Yeah. Oh, the headbutt in, takes the chain from his fist, wraps it around his own, with the last burst of energy, starts beating his neck bloody with the chained fist. You know what, Seb? These two deserve each other. Absolutely. He's got the barbed wire in hand now. Giving himself a crown of thorns. What is Xander planning? He's over the hammerhead. Plunging. That's it. Incredible. The main event of AWA Holiday Hell has been won by Xander Sullivan. Hi, I've heard of Brass Knuckles winning a match with someone, but never a brass forehead. It is stuck into his face. Blood is streaming down Xander Sullivan. This is weirdly biblical, but I'm 